Okay, so you guys will have this on your sidebar. I probably put it there. So everything else we're going to do tonight, we're going to do in what's called the terminal. Like I said, it's this black thing here. You should all be able to open up a copy of it by clicking on it. And it'll pop up a screen like this. I'm going to go ahead and maximize it. You probably won't have this extra little bit of text stuff here at the top. I'm also going to tell it to hide. This is not something you guys will need to do. But to make it easier for you to see my screen. Okay. Can everyone read that okay? Fonts plenty big. So this is what we call the command line interface. As you'll see, it's text-based. Clicking your mouse is not actually going to do anything except maybe awkwardly highlight a few lines. Uh, this dates back to well before we had computers with mice. So you may think it's kind of an antiquated way of using a computer. It is, in fact, incredibly useful and a lot faster than using a mouse for a whole bunch of things. And because computer scientists don't like change, at least they don't anymore, this is still what you use to do a lot of computer science. So the sooner you become comfortable with using this instead of clicking on things like you normally do, the better off you will be. Uh, you'll see whenever you're sitting inside the terminal, there's always what we call the prompt. It's that thing in the upper left hand corner. Mine says, it, the general format is your username at whatever the name of your computer is. The virtual machine probably says something like CU, CSVM, or something along those lines. It'll be followed by a colon, followed by where you are in the file system. We'll go over that in a sec. That's what this symbol happens to represent. It's a tilde right now, meaning I'm in my home folder. Uh, that's just shortcut. Followed by the actual prompt, which will normally be a dollar sign. Uh, and the dollar sign is just telling me that's where you can start typing commands after it. Maybe before we dive too far, well, okay, we'll do a few things here first. So I'm going to go over a bunch of commands. Don't feel like you have to memorize them all right away. Uh, I will attach a list of the commands we talked about tonight with the video when we upload it. Um, so you can come back and look at these later. Arguably, well, maybe there's a couple of most important commands. The first command we'll do is the very easy one. If you ever want to close out of the terminal, the command is exit. If you run it, it'll close your terminal. You can also accomplish that by clicking the little X in the terminal. But sometimes you're in situations where you don't even have that X, so typing exit is your only choice. There's also a command called clear. All clear does is you'll notice that as I do things in the terminal, it works its way down until I hit the bottom, so on and so forth. If you get tired of all of this gunk on your screen and you just want to go back to a fresh screen, clear will basically remove everything you've done thus far and just move your cursor back to the top. Um, so, exit and clear, making progress. 